Hi, my name's Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So on the screen here you are looking at the substructure of a substructure of a ball lightning that was on the 10 yen coin that we produced with the Mars gas in 2019. I've spoken about this quite a bit and this is the slide from my Zizi presentation on uh, Lena in a can where we showed that it would appear that many so-called uh, low energy nuclear reactions experiments were in fact HHO experiments in disguise. And in this case, I identified this structure, and of course this one is the apple down here, and we'll look at that in a second as well. Um, but this has uh, this overall kind of monopole structure uh, that I've discussed at length, and in fact I use this in a number of different presentations. And you can see that it's very similar to the 2009 uh, physics, rev physics Reviews Letters uh, uh, monopole synthetic cre creation of a Dirac monopole in the Spina Bose-Einstein condensate by Alto University. I showed the Nature uh, letter uh, in my recent presentation about the overall 3D structure of O. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at this uh, structure and see how it uh, fits uh, with the now uh, revealed 3D structure of O. So I will quit that. And we can see here I have the, um, the O structure, the sacred geometry there. And if I Put on the main tour that's going through the center there and uh, I can turn the sacred geometry to black and you can see how the disruption beam is coming down here and you can see how inside the apple you've got these two little sort of uh, angel skirt wings here if I bring in the apple you'll probably see that a little clearer here so where this comes in here uh, you can see this section and this section here. Okay, so if I take that out, put that back in. If I put in the mesh, you'll see what I mean maybe where this comes down here and this comes down here. Okay, um, and then uh, we can put in the uh, yin in minus one tor here. So that's a wheel, and within that wheel, we have wheels. So this is a wheel within a wheel. And if we go down to the N minus two tors uh, here, and we put these in the background, this here is a wheel, and that wheel is within a wheel, and that wheel there is within a wheel. Now this big tor here produces the main cone, okay? And these subtors produce their own uh, cones. So I can go like that. And uh, this is pulling material out of here and winding it around here. And uh, that's why we see the copper here. And that's the same as the other experiment we did with Hank Urine where it was shifting material from one side to the other. And it's although there's not much zinc in a 10 yen coin, um, it's leaving a lot of it behind here because the overall structure captured a lot and it dumps the copper down here. And when we look at the SEM on this, we see there's a, a f just over 4% of zinc in this copper and that fits with the amount of spin zinc that is in zinc naturally, the spin isotopes in zinc. So this shows that how spin matter and in in the uh, pyramid of Giza the spin matter would be for instance electrons and uh, protons uh, whereas like I say 99.7 uh, seven I think it is percent of all of the matter of the pyramid uh, being calcium carbonate is non-spin so it won't be uh, interacted with okay so um that's that and uh if i take out these structures and go and just show the overall um uh, 
n minus 2, you can see that these go on the golden ratio lines, just like they do in the pyramid. And that gives you this angle here and this angle here. And that this overall hole here would appear to be within the um, within the lemon here or the visa Pisces. Okay, so there's a slightly little bit of a rotational thing going on. It's a little bit off, but anyway. Um, and, you know, I'm not totally certain that this is going this way or whatever, but what I can see is there doesn't seem to be much affected material here, but there seems to be all this fluffy stuff coming around here. And if we put on the overall outer shell here, um, or even, let's say, the apple, um, the material on the uh, on this area may be disrupted material from the disruption beam that comes down here, and then maybe that's sweeping around and coming in here, coming into the overall structure. So it may, may actually be going around this way, whatever. Um, uh, but here, here you're seeing how a 3D structure can be created by this uh, self-similar uh, fractal structure and how just a wheel within a wheel within a wheel is sufficient to explain these physical phenomena that you see here. So I'm going to turn off the sacred geometry and we'll just uh, zoom in and around this uh, overall structure you can see. So they are our uh, base level wheels and then we come to the tier up from that okay so and then we come up to the overall tour here okay so that is the n level tour that is the n minus one level tour and that is the n minus two level tours the wheel within the wheel within the wheel okay and it really clear clearly uh, shows the observed structure that was produced in that few second experiment using Dr. Roy um gas uh, and thank you to Sho and uh, Dr. Georgie Eagley uh, Dr. Georgie Eagley said what, what about this 10 yen coin and I said okay all right <laughs> So yeah, if if you were making, you know, this this may be the safe zone here, as we've hypothesised before, um, because you you have this your craft here maybe, uh, craft here maybe, and have a zone around here where it's not disrupted. We can certainly say that down the bottom here, where the sothic cone uh, resides, the main cone down there you absolutely do not when this is running want to be in this zone here and that's going to cause you issues down there and the apple also uh, uh, in there it's going to have issues but um, yeah so that's that and of course you can see that this is rotated this one over here but this is clearly another one it's an apple and we also have these angles here going on and so um, it's it's the same kind of thing it just it behaved differently in that case slightly differently okay um, and this ring one over here is probably an overall sphere and I will look at some of these different ones from the past now that we know what we're talking about but you can imagine that the outer shell here has interacted with that and it's just the the uh, double layer interaction of the skin probably that's interacting with that uh, rather than um, one of the substructures okay so just to show you again it is the n minus one tor take out the apple so you see this curve here and this curve here we take out the apple and you can see that it's got this shape here it's kind of like angel skirt, but you still have the disruption beam that goes down the center in that. And then the sort of fluffy 
destruction of matter coming off here. So I imagine, you know, if you looked at this under the SEM, you would have lots of carbon and silicon and other things that are generally lighter than copper and zinc. And we already know this is copper. And for some reason, this definitely had micro ball lightning in there. And that was fusing oxygen on the surface of the copper to sulfur, to oxygen, to copper, to, to uh, sulfur, uh, which is a standard George Oshawa Lenner reaction. Okay, so uh, in my view, uh, this will be one of many, many uh, verifications of the model um, that we will be able to demonstrate moving forward. Um, it's a nice colorful one, so and so there, yeah, there we go. So there's our little yin cones um, and our main tour goes across there. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, I will see you in the next video.